Okay, can you hear me all right? We were working at home using video-based conferencing 20 years ago. And no other company was doing that at the time. And our role was to sell the idea about how you could do things differently using video and health monitoring equipment in hospitals and in homes. I started getting hearing decline because of misspent youth in surfing and getting a swimmer's ear. And then, of course, as I got older, it got exacerbated. I simply found that in restaurants and crowded places, I couldn't participate in the conversation, couldn't hear anybody. If you looked around the street, everyone was walking around with buds. And I thought, well, it makes sense to have buds too. I heard about IQ Buds through an award new here I've got in the United States. Decided IQ Buds was far ahead of anyone else. And the fact that there's a hearing bud as opposed to a hearing aid, I saw that as a positive. IQ Buds was technically better, easier to use, and a much better value for money. I really enjoyed IQ Buds, the Max version, because one, the technology was advanced, and the fact that you've got three microphones is terrific. Ear ID produced a graphic of my hearing loss, which actually was almost identical to another graphic I had by an external professional. I was very happy with that. Anywhere where there's a lot of background noise, they help quite a lot. So I can participate in conversations when before I had trouble doing that. My growing up children said that uh, the television volume was always so high in this house, and now I can uh, hear the TV as well as they can at their volume. The noise cancellation is an extremely convenient feature, very relaxing, and I'm looking forward to testing it on an aircraft when I can finally get on an aircraft. From a value for money and an information technology position, it's an excellent combination. So it solves my problem completely and it's worked flawlessly. Terrific.